Hello, hello, Jeff Alvin here with Balan Brands, and today I wanted to show you how we can get a little bit more out of our logo space here on Agent, the Command Agent websites. So I am in the dashboard here in Command. I'm going to click over here to Consumer, and normally what we recommend doing is we go to Agent Site Pages, we click on Configure Your Site. Um, when we click on configure your site, we have the ability to go through the Kelly guide. So I'm going to click on get started and we're acknowledging that we need to include the market center brokerage DBA logo and so forth. Okay. So I'm going to click acknowledge and continue. And then on the right hand side here, we have this information for the subdomain. And then I click here on marketing and profile information. Now, this information, most of this Kelly guide is populated through your marketing settings in command in another spot. So we're going to go visit that here in a moment. But if I go through these settings here and I scroll down to where the actual logos are at, we have a profile picture, we've got the actual market center branded logo, and then we have the team header logo. Now it says here that the recommended size is 360 by 360. So what happens is, is if I click to upload a photo that's bigger than that, so I have a sample here that's 360 by 1080, if I hit open, what it does, it gives me this square box. And what it's going to do is it's going to crop this particular graphic. So if I have a rectangular logo that's more wide than it is tall, what happens here is I would have to, in an image program, I would have to make the width 360 pixels, which would then make the height only like 80 pixels. So it makes it very, very small. So we have a lot of agent websites um, that we were working on that where we had that issue, where we had these rectangle logos and it was making the graphic super small. So what I'm gonna do is if I were to go ahead and in, instead of do this, I'm gonna choose a different image and I've got a 360 by 360 in here. And if it's a square, well then you'll see this works out just great, right? If my logo is a square anyway, then I'm all set. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set image, save and continue. And then I would finish through these steps basically where I can save and continue these um, my Kelly guide to go through those particular steps. Okay, then I'm uploading different background images, right? So I have lots of different options there. Save and continue. Go to the next step. There's my SEO, things like that. Okay, go to the final step. And again, this most of this is being populated from another spot that we're going to show you. So save and continue. And now it shows that our Kelly guide is updated. And now I'm back to my site. So if I, if I go back to my agent website and reload the page here, you'll see that's what I have. I have this nice square logo. But what I want is something more like this that I have here on the left. See how it's, it's wider than it is tall. And so this actually has the same constraints within that Kelly guide where if I upload it, it's supposed to be 360 by 360, no bigger than 360 by 360. Okay, other, otherwise it'll crop it. So here's our workaround. If I go over here under my name in command, click on that and hit settings. Then I'm gonna click over here to connect settings and marketing profile. So if I change that team logo here, this says here recommended size 360 by 360. So if I actually click upload and grab something that's 360 by 1080, hit open, and I upload that. It looks a little weird in this bubble Okay, doesn't look great there. And you'll see I did that here with the Market Center as well. But if I go ahead and hit save, and as long as I have this little green, uh, this little button here, it's turned green instead of gray. If I go back and reload the page now, you'll see I have the wide logo. So in the Kelly guide, I don't have the ability to have a wide logo, but in the marketing uh, connect settings, I'm actually able to use the wider one. So that's our workaround right now. So if you've been struggling with issues of having these logos appear super small because they're constrained within that 360 pixel limitation and you did it in the Kelly guide, then that's where this is coming from. 
So just wanted to give you that little tip. Hopefully that helps make a little bit more out of your command agent website. If you have any other questions or concerns, this is Jeff Elvin with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command.